Here we go. Mm. Ah, bueno. That means good. <laughs> Hola, I'm Cynthia. I'm born and raised in Lima, Peru. I'm actually here in Christchurch and I'm gonna introduce my Peruvian cuisine. This time, today, we're gonna make classic ceviche. So ceviche is pretty much raw fish, very fresh, but actually cooked and cured by lime, the lime juice. So for example here, we have beautiful fresh gurner. You just can get it in fillets. And what are we gonna do is we're gonna cut it in cubes of maybe two centimeters. For example, here, we just do cubes like that. And here, you have ice. Why do we have ice here? So keep it the fresh, super fresh. And what we're also gonna do, to start the process, put some salt. New Zealand is located as well in such an amazing place but with Peru we share the Pacific Ocean so in Peru we have a lot of fish that in New Zealand you could actually get which is what I actually miss the most I miss when my dad used to take me to the fish markets in Lima perfect now I'm gonna do the classic Peruvian ceviche but as well I'm gonna do with tiger milk or in Spanish leche de tigre so, we're just gonna cut it in pieces. You get this lime squeezer. Squeeze it, but not all the way down, because then all you're gonna get is that sour, bitter sort of citrus, citrusy, and we don't want that. So what I'm doing at the moment, ceviche is very from the coast, because obviously you would like to eat ceviche when it's hot, because this is kind of raw. You would like to eat it in front of the beach with a glass of beer. So after we have squeezed all the limes, we will need celery, just put this one. Then we will need red onion, ginger, and guess what? A little bit of the cubes of fish that I cut before. And rocoto is the only chili around the world that has, obviously pips, but it's the only chili that has black seeds in it or peps in it we will have a look it's very particular it's from peru rocoto it's so difficult to get it from new zealand but thanks to friends that are actually based in auckland they are actually um, growing some chilies for me this rocoto is spicy and this will just i'm just gonna put a tiny bit here because it could be very spicy but we eat it raw or we eat it with a little bit of lime, salt and pepper and then we put it on the top of our food. Perfect, so salt, fresh black pepper and we're gonna put the lime juice. And now we're gonna blend this one. Okie dokie, so we're gonna put this through a sieve the leche de tigre. So what you don't want, obviously, is the fish pieces that hasn't been blended completely or the rocoto, the skin of the rocoto, because I actually didn't uh, peel the rocoto, as you could see. Try to put it at the end on the fish. Why? Because actually the lime will cook the, um, the fish so quickly that if you leave it for so long, we actually could get a funny, not flavor, the flavor will be beautiful, but texture, it could actually coach, depending on what sort of uh, fish you're using. Like it could tint, could be actually a little bit rubbery or it's just not 100% fresh. So this is the little de tigre that we made before. And we're gonna put all of that by the lime. We're gonna cut a little bit of coriander. I'm not a chef at all, <laughs> but I'm a food lover. And especially when it's about my Peruvian cuisine, to be in the kitchen doing my food, 
brings me joy. It actually fulfills my soul because sometimes, yes, you can get a little bit sad that you are not with your mom and dad, that you are not with your family, and food through the flavors and the smells what you're cooking brings me all the way to those amazing years because I had an amazing childhood and I love it. So if I want to pass that on to my family and to my kids, the only way to do it, it's myself, me, cooking it. So I learned myself. Here we go. Oh, what are we gonna use? Our beautiful rocoto. We're just gonna cut. We're gonna use it as a decoration, but as well just to cut a little bit. Please remove the pips and any veins that you find. It could be very spicy. And especially if the pips or the veins around. Jesus. You don't want that? Well, unless you like the spicy food. And then, corn, Peruvian corn. We call it cancha. In any seafood restaurant that you go in Lima, in Peru, you will get this cancha served as a snack. We will put it here. Cumura, or in Spanish, camote, orange cumura. What I've done, I boil it in Fanta. We put that red onion that I cut, feather cut, and then we're just gonna top it up with the juice of the leche de tigre. Great, time to try this beauty. So what you want is just to eat with the all the juices there. Here we go. Mm. 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 Ah, bueno. That means good. <laughs> Spicy because of the rocoto, not only because it's on top of it, but remember that I blend it with the tiger's milk. And then you have the corn that has been already toasted, so you have that crunchiness as well. So, if you want the recipe for this ceviche, classic Peruvian ceviche, please follow Story Bites and also click the link just here, down. Everything will be written there. And yeah, 